Hey everybody, I just thought I would do a little update on my painting scheme and my plans for my Rogue Trader Space Elves. And um, I did show already the, the group of models, the total group of models, but today I just want to talk about my choice and color scheme. What I have in front of you is just one group of guardians with a guardian leader and a warlock that I just pulled out of that group just to get started on the paint scheme. All I have really right now is base paint down. I don't have any highlighting yet or um, shading or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this is just the first coat of paint. Now, um, I've been a Bielton faction within Eldar ever since I've started doing Eldar and I, they are really my favorite craft world but and I almost I almost did build time for these guys too just because I, I, they are my favorite um, but actually in talking to a number of folks and particularly like Jank Master at one point you know I, I thought about doing space pirates when I first got these and he kind of also reinforced my idea maybe to do those just because I can use them for other things um, and I can also do more stuff with Bielton uh, we just had I remember we had a discussion about it and I kind of agreed with it now I like I really like the idea for the games I'm going to be using these for to do like the old space pirates I'll throw up an image here um, just showing this is a really old Eldar um, picture that just shows some of the different factions of the original space elves kind of like space pirates and raiders and things and the one I decided to do is the flag that's all the way over to the right and I believe a lot of it is emulated in the center as you, at least the style um, the, the guy they show but it's primarily a purple and blue scheme and they're called the scarlet command there's a symbol of a hand with an eye that's in yellow it seems as if uh, Oftentimes, looking at the rogue trader models, you'd have tiger stripes and kind of things on, on certain parts or all, particularly the helmet. And so I am thinking that I'm going to do um, some tiger stripes. I might even do like white with black in it, um, just have a border of white, or I might just do just black lines. I'm not sure. On any of the models that are sort of leaders, that um, like sort of like a squad leader so like this guy here I have is the squad leader of this group he's a single cast model and um, I'm gonna yeah I'm, I'm gonna do some sort of tiger striping in there of black and you can see with some of the photos that I'm showing that you know that has been done like on a lot of these and then the other ones um, are either gonna be without helmets or just plain um, and have their second the secondary color the purple on the top and um, the Warlock, I, I'm, I'm doing very similar. Like, I think I'm going to do something radically different for the Farseer. But with the Warlock, I've got sort of the purple helmet. I do have some yellow for the plume. And then I'm really going to be highlighting up the bone sort of adorate. Um, I don't know what you'd call this. It's sort of a breastplate made of wraith bone is what they usually have. And then the helmet kind of oftentimes has that coloration. I have, this is... Everything is now like the darkest it's going to be. This is the first coat of paint, and so I went dark first. And so even this like light blue that is going to be on the hands and the helmet faceplate and the breastplate is going to be really, really lightened up. So it's going to be a very kind of um, ghostly, probably kind of blue, like really, really lightened up. And I'll be doing a lot of highlighting on the purples. Now, I, I'm using primarily coat to arms. I do have for the yellow, I'm kind of funny about yellow. I have like my own recipe that I like and I've got some GW Avalon Sunset and some GW Flash Gets Yellow that I'm using and I'll likely be using some ivory as well um, to highlight that up. But for my coat to arms paints for the blue, I kind of created my own triad. I've been doing that a lot lately. I, I know that they sell triads for different companies, but I just making my own triad of um, dark to light and with the center being the primary and I've got um, yeah these these three for the blue that I'm using and then for the purple I've got these with some pink to highlight later mix mix in essentially to highlight later um, and yeah so pretty excited about this um, I'll be doing this for everything all the way up to the dreadnoughts I'll be likely trying to find some um, Scarlet Command banners. I believe I found at least one. And so, uh, yeah, I'm looking, I'm liking how it's looking so far. You might notice I have um, one guy here that's got like a green mohawk, which is kind of wild. But if you look back at some of the stuff that was done in the 80s, a lot of these elf, 
space elves were kind of like punk rockers in some ways and the way they actually had their style and you'll see they'll, there's different color hair and guns and stuff on some of it so I thought it looked really cool and I'm just trying in, to be in keeping with that um, look so I chose to give him a green mohawk and so yeah all right everybody hope uh, for, for those of you that are participating um, have either just decided uh, let us know or um, the folks that have already kind of either said they were going to or thinking about it looking forward to seeing your submissions um, you can point Rusty and I to him in the comments or contact us directly and yeah I'm quite uh, having fun with this challenge very retro and loving it take care